Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to my channel, where I share with you all the juicy gossip, the hottest trends, and the most amazing secrets of the stars. I'm your host, and today we're going to talk about Prince Harry and Meghan Markle request royal estate birthday party for Archie. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are planning a fifth birthday celebration for their son, Archie, at their Montecito home on May 6. Initially, they intended to follow this with a trip to the UK, where their children could meet their paternal side of the family. However, due to security concerns after Harry's recent legal challenge against the UK government over his security, their UK travel plans have changed. It remains uncertain whether they will proceed with Archie's birthday party, as originally planned. Prince Harry faces dilemma over UK return due to Meghan's change of heart. Prince Harry is grappling with a significant dilemma as his wife, Meghan Markle, has had a change of heart regarding their potential UK return trip next month. The Duke of Sussex is scheduled to speak at the Invictus Games 10th anniversary service at St. Paul's Cathedral on May 8. While the visit remains unofficially confirmed, Prince Harry is listed as a guest for the service, while Meghan's attendance status is marked as to be confirmed. Initially, the former Suits actress was willing to accompany Harry and bring their children, Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet, with them. However, concerns about their safety arose after details of their trip were leaked. According to an insider, Meghan now feels unsafe about traveling to the UK with the children. The situation raises the question of whether the family should attend with increased security, or if Harry should go alone. In a heartfelt plea to his wife, Harry expressed, I don't want to do this alone. The Duke of Sussex prefers that the entire family make regular visits to see his relatives and build bridges. However, given the complexities behind the scenes, Achieving this ideal isn't currently feasible. Both Harry and Meghan initially planned to visit the UK, but the public disclosure of their appearance at the Invictus ceremony prompted Meghan to reconsider her decision. They said, Harry and Meghan are planning a fifth birthday party for Archie at their Montecito home on May 6th, and were then going to fly over to the UK on a private jet the following day. They were going to attend the anniversary service followed by a few more days in the UK, so the children could meet with members of the royal family. In addition to her security fears, Meghan is also said to be worried about being thrown back into an anxiety-fueled visit to England, where she feels like she's not wanted. Prince Harry is reportedly willing to return to the UK, but only under one specific condition, that he can overturn a home office ruling regarding immediate police protection. The Duke of Sussex is expected to visit the UK in a few weeks, attending a special service at St. Paul's Cathedral on May 8th to celebrate the 10th anniversary of the Invictus Games, which he co-founded in 2014. These games were created for sick and injured servicemen and women. His wife, Meghan Markle, has been a strong supporter of the Invictus Games and recently accompanied Harry on a trip to Canada in February to promote the 2025 Games scheduled for Vancouver and Whistler. However, it remains uncertain whether Meghan, along with their children Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet, will join him for next month's event in London. According to The Telegraph, the obstacle lies in Harry's challenge against a home office ruling that denies him immediate police protection in the UK. Unless this ruling changes, he does not feel comfortable bringing his family to the UK, as reported by The Express. The Executive Committee for the Protection of Royalty and Public Figures, Ravek, made the decision in February 2020 that Harry would no longer receive the same degree of publicly funded security during his stays in the country. His legal representatives argue that this treatment was unfair and discriminatory. They contend that the lack of proper risk assessment and consideration of potential consequences renders the current security measures unlawful and unfair. Thank you so much for watching, my lovely fans. You are the best. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, 
and turn on the notifications. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Thank you.